Hello everyone, Technosis Craig Chamberlain here. We are continuing on with our dual boot series. Now we've already uh, changed the partition to active and what we want to do is we're going to click start and we're going to click shut down, turn off computer. And before we restart, make sure you put your Windows Vista disk in the drive. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure mine's in the drive. And then click restart. Now what this is going to do is it's going to restart the computer and since we set up our BIOS to boot off of the CD-ROM, of course, make sure your floppy drive isn't in. Since we set up our BIOS to boot off the CD-ROM first, it's going to boot off that CD-ROM. And now we're going to leave the boot manager as a just-in-case the installation doesn't go smoothly. So, our BIOS screen will come up here first. It's in this video you guys will see the difference between me talking into my microphone and uh, this microphone. It's quite a bit of difference. It's going to tell me, boot, press any key to boot from the CD here in a second, just like the Vista installation always does. See, it's right there, so press a key. It's going to, Windows is going to load the files, and what's going to happen here is when we actually install Vista, we've hidden the Windows XP installation. Because Vista was actually designed to detect another Windows installation, and if it does detect it, it's going to try to set up its own boot manager, but we don't want it to do that. We want to have our own boot manager. We want to use Boot US, and there's a lot of reasons for that, um, but I'm not going to go into those like in really great detail in this video. But essentially, we're setting up our boot manager instead of the Vista one by hiding XP. So that for all it knows, there is no other operating system installed in this drive. That's why we said true hidden. So it's going to load the files. And uh, I did a test on this before, so yours might be a little bit different. I did a test that was part of the technical difficulties yesterday. Um, I had to do a little bit of a test to make sure that this would actually work, because I sure hate to show you guys something that doesn't work. Uh, so I made sure it worked before I actually did this video. So, uh, alright, it asked me what kind of keyboard I have. Of course, I have English, English, and a U.S. keyboard. And I'll click Next. And then I'm going to select Install Now. Uh, of course, it says Please Wait while it sets up the uh, setup files. Uh, it's going to ask me to enter my key. I don't actually have mine on me. So I'm going to go ahead and disable the Automatically Detect and Activate. And I'm going to select Next. It's going to say, You don't have it. And I'm going to say, I know. And then select No. And then it's going to actually load the partition portion of the operating system. Oh, first we need to accept the licensing terms. Of course, I need to tell you to read that. We're going to select Custom for our installation. It's really the only one you're allowed to check. And then that's going to bring up what we already have. Mine's going to say Vista's already installed because I tested this out already. So what we have here is it does say that this one's a primary partition. It says Free Space Zero, believe it or not. So that technically means that this one is hidden. And it also actually says that uh, there's nothing installed on it. So that's the boot manager's way of hiding that partition from Vista. Because Vista now doesn't think anything's installed on it. It thinks it's just another partition. So make sure you don't select that one, okay? You want to select partition 3, which is the one that we set for Vista. And uh, yours might say Vista. And then what you want to do is you want to say Drive Options, Advanced. And you want to delete that partition. It's going to say, warning, you're going to lose all your information. Then say, OK. And then it's going to go ahead and erase everything on that. And it'll say on partition space here in a second. See, on allocated space, select new because we want to create a new partition. Of course, apply because we want to use all the space in that partition. And then that's going to set this up as its own standalone partition. Now, after it's done that, then you're just going to select next. And it's going to start the installation. Now I'm going to walk away here because uh, this part's going to be a long process of installation. The installation usually takes anywhere from a half hour to 45 minutes on Vista. So I'm going to walk away and then I'm going to come back after this installation is complete. Essentially you have to do nothing. Nothing at all. Don't touch anything until the Vista's installation is completed. Because it will restart itself, then install, then restart itself, then ins install. You don't have to worry about doing anything at this moment in time. So let it go through everything in the Vista installation. And then I'm going to come back to you actually after Vista's installed. See you in a second. Here we have Vista automatically restarting itself, like I said it would. And I'm going to show you that you don't want to do anything at this point. Just let it do its thing. It's, it, it, it's, it's, it's Microsoft. Everyone knows they're smarter than you. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to show you here that uh, if once it reboots, you don't have to press the key anymore, you don't have to do anything, just let it reboot, let it bypass the press any key to continue, and uh, Vista's just going to continue on with its installation like normal. See, the press any key comes up, 
I know you guys probably can't see this like exactly well because I don't have high def here, but the splash screen comes back up and the installation will continue and then you walk through the installation like you would any other installation. Now, I'm going to actually move on to another episode technically. See, it's Windows is setting up my computer. I'm going to stop here, but I'm going to upload all these videos at once. So hang in there. The next episode, we're actually going to talk through finishing everything up, pulling it all together, cleaning it all up, and get the boot, the boot disk actually not to need a boot disk anymore. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to this episode. As always, leave comments and ratings, and don't forget to subscribe. Because subscribers rule. It's true. I googled it. See you next time.